It looks like this is going to be quite dangerous. One to ten, how dangerous? This is a good ten, yeah. Brilliant. Ooh. Brilliant. I'm excited. Good luck, Jonathan Goodwin. Thank you. The first person to escape from a straitjacket was Harry Houdini, and it was a feat which he said was the most difficult of his entire career. Tonight, I would like to attempt to escape from a straitjacket for you. Earlier, I met Mr. Declan Dobberney. And I put you in the straitjacket, and yes. I gave you a go, and we filmed it. Can we play that video in? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, there's not much getting out of that. That's not, is there? You didn't manage to get out. It was difficult, yeah? Difficult, uh, impossible. We gave you the straitjacket. You've had that since before you took it off. No yes. one's interfered with it? No. Nope. Well, you get your own back now, because you get to put it on me. You can hold it up nice and high. My arms are going to go inside here, and uh, Janine is going to come and help you do it up. When Houdini escaped from a straitjacket, he would do it hanging upside down, hundreds of feet up in the air, suspended by a single rope. And then later, other escape artists copied the act, but they wanted to take it up a notch. So they would set the rope that suspended them on fire. And obviously they had to escape before the rope burned through. Tonight, I'm gonna kick it up a notch again. Tonight it won't be the rope that's on fire, it will be me. What? I'm going to be doused in fuel, hung upside down and set alight. Let's do this. My only lifeline will be the fire extinguisher hanging next to me. Are you satisfied that I'm restrained, sir? Absolutely. Then your work here is done. Thank you. I'm actually quite nervous for him. Yeah. Oh my God. He is nuts, you know that. Yes! 
fire!